I'm Katie Chen. I'm a food blogger, a cookbook author, and a working mom. My cooking videos are all about fast, fresh, and fabulous Asian recipes that anyone can make at home. Hi, I'm Katie Chen. Welcome to the Sweet and Sour Chronicles. Today, I'm gonna to make a classic Cantonese chicken chow mein. Now, when I was growing up in Minnesota, there weren't a lot of Asians. We just wanted to be like all the other kids and have hamburger helper for dinner. What we didn't realize was that our mother was making us delicious gourmet Chinese food. I soon realized the error of my ways when I went away to school in Boston and had to eat food in the college dorm. Yuck. I love chow mein so much, whenever I came home for spring break, my mother would make me a giant steaming bowl of it. I take the bowl, get to my dad's Lazy Boy recliner, listening to The Cure on my Walkman with my half-shaven head with blue streaks, and gobble it up. My mom would walk away shaking her head, but at least she knew I was having a good meal. So we're just gonna start this dish with a little bit of chicken. I just cut this into thin strips. You can use chicken breast or chicken thigh some soy sauce, some cornstarch. Now the cornstarch in stir-fried dishes helps seal in all the juices, making the chicken super tender. A little bit of salt, and some white pepper. So I'm just gonna toss this to combine. And I'm covering it. We'll stick this in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Okay, while my chicken was marinating, I got all my other ingredients cut, cleaned, and ready to go. The important thing in stir frying is to be really organized. The actual cooking time is very fast. Now we're gonna start with just sauteing a little bit of ginger and garlic in some heart healthy canola oil. Some nice fresh minced ginger. And some garlic. We just wanna saute this until the garlic is fragrant for about 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna add our marinated chicken. So I'm just gonna stir fry this for about two minutes until the chicken turns white. Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside for a little bit later. Now that my chicken's pre-cooked, I'm gonna add a little more oil to the pan. We're gonna saute some black mushrooms. Now black mushrooms are sold dry. They look like this. You can also substitute with shiitake mushrooms. You have to soak them in warm water for about 20 minutes so they get nice and hydrated. Squeeze out the moisture, cut off the thingy, and slice it thinly. Next, I'm gonna add some bean sprouts. Adds a nice crunchy texture to the dish. Some bamboo shoots. You can buy bamboo shoots at most grocery stores now and of course at Asian markets. And I'm gonna add a bit more salt to this. We'll stir fry this for a bit. Stir frying is all about cooking very quickly over medium high to high heat. So make sure your pan is nice and hot before you start cooking. Everything cooks very quickly this way. Now that our bean sprouts are nice and tender, I'm gonna add some chicken broth, some oyster sauce. You can also find this at the grocery store in Asian markets, of course. It adds a really nice, rich flavor to all stir-fry dishes and noodle dishes. So I'm just gonna toss this to combine and let the liquid come to a boil. Now that the liquid's come to a boil, I'm adding a cornstarch slurry. A cornstarch slurry is just some water mixed with cornstarch. It thickens gravies and Asian noodle dishes and stir-fried dishes. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to our pan. We'll make a really delicious gravy, yum yum. Okay, I'm just gonna let this come together and get the sauce nice and thickened. Okay, now that this is sizzling, I'm gonna add our reserved chicken and some blanched pre-pots. 
Now, blanching just means you boil the veggie for about a minute and then put it in an ice bath to cool it off so it's pre-cooked so they don't get overcooked yet they're still nice and crunchy and tender. That smells so good. Oh, makes me want to put on the cure. Okay, and we're actually done with this already and we're getting ready to plate. I just have a nice bed of Chinese egg noodles here. Now you could substitute with any kind of noodle, but traditional Cantonese chow mein is made with Chinese egg noodles. I'm just gonna go ahead and put our delicious chicken yumminess on top of the noodles. Yummy. Now I'm just gonna garnish with a little bit of green onions. Now, of course, you could substitute the chicken with beef, pork, shrimp, whatever you'd like, or you could do a vegetarian version of this with vegetable broth and all veggies. Of course, I have to try a little bite myself. Mmm, that looks so delicious. Oh my gosh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. The ginger, the garlic, the richness from the oyster sauce, tender chicken. I wonder this was my favorite meal in college and still is because it reminds me of my mom. For the full recipe, go to the Sweet and Sour Chronicles and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all my amazing Asian videos. Please let me know what your favorite Asian noodle dish is and maybe it'll appear in our next episode. Until then, happy cooking. Please check out my latest cookbook, Everyday Thai Cooking, available on Amazon and fine booksellers everywhere.